Welcome back. Let's have a look at how to approach the question number 10 in CKS Killer Shell exam simulation. Question number 10, task rate for percentage. So Team Purple wants to run some of their workloads more secure. Worker node cluster 1 node 2 has container engine container D already installed and it's configured to support the run SC GWISER runtime. Create a runtime class named GWISER with the handler run SC. Create a pod that uses the runtime class. The pod should be in the namespace team purple named GWISER test and of image nginx 119.2. Make sure the pods run on cluster 1 node 2. Write the DM diagnostic message output of the successfully started pod uh, into the given file here. So it is about the runtime class in Kubernetes. So um, let's first SSH onto this node. And then it says uh, it is already in installed with the necessary container uh, runtime. Uh, which is run sc. So if that's the case, let's check run sc commandlet, run the version. So it's already installed. Good. Um, we can also take a look at the configuration file, um, the run sc uh, or the container D configuration file, which um, usually resides at etc container config.toml so it's a big configuration file but for now let's grab for run se to see if it is already there so under the plugin section we see run se is there and the runtime is run se v1 that looks good so for now uh, let's go to the kubernetes documentation and get the manifest for uh, creating the runtime class go here runtime class okay this is the one that we're looking for Copy this, go back to our shell. So now let's uh, create the runtime class. So let's name it 10rc.yaml, uh, paste whatever we have copied from the Kubernetes documentation. Well, we don't need uh, these comments. So the runtime class name called GWISER, let's copy this. Name is GWISER and the handler name is runSC, which is the usual handler for GWISER always. Created it. Now, um, keep got a little create uh dash f let's create a random group okay we are so we are now in the worker node so we have to create it on the we have to first come out of the node from here and then then rc.yaml oh. 
and now we'll use the ones that we've created perfect runtime class is now created the next thing to do is create a part that uses the runtime class <laughs> let's do the usual thing uh, so cube cuddle um, in the namespace team purple part should be in the namespace team purple and part named gvisor test so cube got run this part and use um, this image nginx 1192 and then dry run equals client output yaml looks good now we'll redirect to the 10 dash pod dot yaml so we are uh, let's open the pod definition we just created so, so the other things that we have to make sure is uh, under the spec section we have to uh, ensure under the part specification we have to ensure um, the first point is make sure the um, the part runs on this node so we have to use the node name and we have to run this on this node and the other thing is we have to make this part use the runtime class that we have created so the syntax is runtime class name and the class name is gvisor and i think that looks good let's now create the pod uh, 10 dash pod.yaml so you've got in the namespace team purple get parts so the one that we have created is the gvisor test okay looks good so what we need to do now is we have to exec into the pod okay let it be there um gvisor test output in an yaml format just to see if it is using the runtime class we have created yes looks good now let's um, exec into this part exec into the gy test part um, and then dme sg is the diagnostic message so which looks good so the diagnostic message which uh, is from the kernel in this case is the gy sir so it doesn't spit out so much of information about the actual host kernel but rather this is coming from the gy sir which looks good so so write the dmesg output to of the successfully started part into this location so I'll copy this location. So we're going to do is do as a test. We are going to redirect that output to this location. And I'm going to open the file once again to make sure it looks good. Perfect. So that's all for this question. Thanks for your time. See you in the next question.